Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, a state of emergency has been declared in the parish of St. Catherine by the Prime Minister of the country, the Honorable Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari, so do Abdeep Roads TV. And if this is your first time greetings, tuning greetings. in, I'm asking yes, you, season, hit that red subscribe button. We're going hey, to have a great roots, man. How you guys doing out there? We're having a good time, after, man. We're running for a lot of the Aftermath of a bloodletting expedition in Spanish town, the government has declared a state of emergency in St. Catherine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rastafari Soldier here of Deep Roots TV. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. It is unfortunately that the announcement was made by the Prime Minister Andrew Holness at the press conference, Jamaica House, Friday morning. The state of emergency was declared following Tuesday gun attack that sent people scampering in the busy Spanish town market district, resulting in two people being killed and the imposition of a 48-hour curfew in which the community get to handle on their apparent spurling crime. Over the time, overall, it was a bloody day in a near Spanish town Tuesday with several other killing and shooting incident. According to Holness, the emergency power were necessary because violence is a disease that has spread across the country. The government of Jamaica has to act. We cannot sit by and send the innocent Jamaican going about their business on their way to work and from market and having to scurry for their life, he said. The government has to act. That is the government's responsibility. We, of course, must act within the boundaries of our laws and constitution, he added. For his part, Police Commissioner Major Anderson has said the SOE has proven to be effective in reducing murders across troubled area in the past. Now, as we watched videos on social media, as many people scampered, ladies and gentlemen, it is unfortunate and it is a everyday activity in Jamaica to hear these gruesome gun crime. Now, gun seizure, a gun seizer and a wanted man has been arrested within the first hour of the SOE in St. Catherine. It's been reported that the operation activity conducted in St. Catherine self-division led to the capture of a wanted man and the recovery of an illegal firearm. Within the first hour of the declaration of the state of emergency for the parish of St. Catherine, lawmen assigned to the St. Catherine South Police Division conducted a target operation in Gregory Park area and apprehended a man who is wanted for murder and shooting. The police said 138 revolver loaded with 638 cartridges were also seized. The man will be interviewed by the detective in the relations to other crimes committed in the parish. His identity is being withheld at this time. The operation continue. Now what them nasty thing them in the light about Jamaican police, you know. When them catch a criminal, it's like them a try to hide them identity. We want pictures from the internet and we want names for call. You are going to take. Now, I'm looking in the news and it appears that there has been a recent shooting there in the parish. It appears that a well-known, you know, leader, mother has been assassinated in the area. Now, listening to the authorities in Jamaica, the Minister of National Security, Dr. Harris Chan, has signaled that within the state's power, the emergency, the states of emergency is now forced to focus on the St. Catherine. The members of the security 
will find gangsters responsible for the uprise and the upsurge of violence. That's what Major Anderson, um, um, Horace Chan has said, excuse me. Now, he says that the mission is to stabilize the parish. Speaking at Friday morning press conference at the officials of the Prime Minister, Chang said that the necessary law is to remove the violent producer from the parish is embedded within the SOE legislation. There are several large gangs across St. Catherine, particularly the northern St. Catherine, and two big organized within, in fact, created persistent criminal activities in the area. He said the violence producer in the area need to be removed immediately to restore order and restore public safety. The secretary has said that the secret force will find the violent producer. We know where they are and we will apprehend them and restore calm the public order. He added, now if Chang know where them dead, why him have to wait till him start them to kill off innocent people? You are going to, if the security force know where to find the pro violent producer, why are we waiting till them start producing violence? Now Chang, who is also deputy prime minister, committed to give the security force the necessary resource to remove the criminals from our various community. And that is what this has been all about for the last two years. Building up the technology, you are going to take so them can violate the constitutional rights of the Jamaican people. Chang went on to say these gangs embedded in the community, whether unruly or one order, and many other out there, we will find them, dismantle them, and remove the criminal elements from our communities, he said. Chan claimed that the security force require the SOE legislation to effectively deliver on that mandate. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're hearing is a violation of the constitutional rights of the Jamaican people. But again, the Jamaican people, them have violated themselves. Some in our mind when Babylon run out and run in pan them. You are going to because of pure hard drugs, a pure hard stone, and a pure petrol and bullet, Jamaicans, I wish for you, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if I'm wrong or all right. The government need a death penalty in a Jamaica. The SOE just a suffer the good for the bad, we want to grab the crime makers, the violent producer, and broke them neck. Yes, I said that. We no want to punish innocent people in the community because the SOE is a broad blanket. We just a band-aid for the situation. We want to find the violent producer and we want to done them. You are going to. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari, soldier of the approach, Stevie. I am speaking the truth. The men of Jamaica and the women of Jamaica are violence producers, but Babylon have allowed them to create criminal activities to scare the good people them, to create chaos so them can come in to do what them want, like violate the Jamaican people constitutional rights by coming in with these states of emergency and letting go their wolves on the sheep of the population. Ladies and Hello. gentlemen, I'm Rasta Farah. Hit the right subscribe button. Big up people, TV. Respect to the tuning in here every time. Yeah, big up my friends and families. Yeah, big up my loyal fans, them Empress Knights. You know, my favorite Trinidadian friend. Yeah, serenity, love, big up yourself, big up Maggie, you are going to take. Do King, big up yourself, my general, I'm more life and I'm more joy, give thanks for your all the comments and the shares, give up, big up yourself, 
people them down in a Ghana. Yeah, I'm talking about NBJ the Ghana King. Yeah, big up yourself, General. New York, Donovan Powell, big up yourself. Yeah, all of my family them in a Georgia. Yeah. Saint Elizabeth, I'm more life, I'm more joy. No matter me, ain't gonna put no SOE power with farms down here. You are gone. Tay, big up yourself, ugly. You are gone, T. Bless up yourself, Marlene. More life, more joy. Vinette, yeah, I'm a cause of them. Large up in yourself. Yellow, big up yourself, Taya. Yeah, more life, Lance. Big up yourself, Browning and the Yotes, them. 